How about this sale at Harrods? Fantastic. Every January at this time, and we're absolutely in time for it, they have a sale on the furs. I would love to buy myself a red fox coat. I have always wanted one. You would, it would look so well on you with your coloring. Let's go tomorrow morning, first that, thing. That's, that's, I'm, that sounds good to me. I'm really sorry to bother you, but perhaps you didn't realize that you're sitting in a non-smoking zone. Well, actually, I did. Uh, I just came up just for a few minutes to sit with my friend. Oh, yeah. so the two of you are traveling together. And it, it doesn't it doesn't bother me. I don't mind if she smokes. Well, it may not bother you, but it could bother some of the other passengers uh, sitting here. Actually, and we have, no one's complained. Oh, but we do have designated smoking and non-smoking zones, and they're there for a reason. Well, you know, I have a seat back in the back in the designated area, but I just came up just for a minute. Well... I have to ask you to put the cigarette out while you're in the no smoking zone. If you'd like, I can attempt to find two seats together in the back for you. Well, this this is my seat, and this one this one is vacant. Mm -hmm. I realize that, but this is a non-smoking zone, and the smoking zone starts at row 47. And seriously, if you'd like two seats together, I'd be more than happy to try and accommodate you back there. Would you like me to go look? Well, that's very good of you. If you could just just give me a couple. I can't, I really can't allow that. This is a non-smoking zone, and we have rules and regulations that we simply have to enforce. And it's for everybody's well She's almost finished. I know, but the smoking zone starts at row 47, and I would like to ask you to please put out the cigarette. Yes, well, all right. It's okay. time. Okay, thanks for your cooperation. The rules and regulations are there to protect everybody. People around here are sitting, sitting in a non-smoking zone because they don't like the smoke primarily. So, in the meantime, is there anything I can get you to drink or anything else I can get for you? Oh, and I still have some coffee, thank you. I'm fine. Yes, I do. Could you take this and I'll have a cup of coffee? Oh, sure. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, and if you change your mind and you'd like to, you know, try and find two seats together, I'd be more than happy to do so. Just let me know. All right, thanks very much. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice flight. Oh, that's too bad. I guess they have rules. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe we can sit back there later if you really want to. Alright, but it doesn't bother you. So. You can't smoke here. This is my seat. Oh, I was just going to finish my cigarette and then I'll go back to my own seat. <laughs> well, you can't smoke here. Like I said, this is my jump seat. Regulations prohibit passengers from sitting here. You'll have to find someplace else. Don't be ridiculous. On my last flight, the flight attendants didn't have any problem with my sitting here. I don't care about your last flight, and the flight attendants were wrong anyhow. Like I said, this is my seat. You'll have to find someplace in the back. Can you say please? Can you say smoking section? I don't care for your attitude. You really are a jam. What is your name? What's your name? My name's not important. By the time I get through with you, you won't have a job, much less a seat. I'm going to speak to the purser. I'm so worried. Excuse me. Perhaps you didn't realize, but this is a no-smoking zone, and I'll have to ask you to put the cigarette out. Oh, I'll just be a minute, actually. I mean, I realize it's no-smoking, but it'll just be a minute. Well, I, it is a no-smoking zone, and we don't allow cigarette smoking here, and I have to ask you to put it out. I'm sorry. There's really nothing I can do. We have regulations that we have to enforce. Oh, it's not bothering me. I don't I don't care. Oh, that, that may be fine, but it may be bothering the other people around you. I have seats in the back. I'll be more than happy to try and move you. Well, actually, it's not necessary, because there's a seat right here for me. Oh, that's all well and good, but the smoking zone is right back here after row 47. Now, if you'd like, I'll take you back and we can help. We can find another seat. Actually, I but have in the a meantime, seat. I have there. to ask you to put the cigarette out. This is ridiculous. Why do you have to be so nitpicky? I have to ask you to put the cigarette out now. This is a no-smoking zone. Do you believe this? Really, it's not. It bothers us so all. the cigarette out. Thank you. Linda, did you have an argument with one of our passengers? Well, there was a lady sitting here in my jump seat smoking, and I told her she wasn't allowed to sit here. I mean, really, it's an FAR, and besides that, I can't stand cigarette smoke. 
Linda, I don't know if you're aware of it, but it's not an FAR, nor is it against company policy to allow a passenger to sit and use your jump seat in flight. It's not? It's not. It's it's your prerogative, whether you, or not you want somebody to use your jump seat, because this is your assigned seat, the only seat you have. And so the option is up to you. Well, if it's my option, then I don't want anybody to sit here. I mean, you're right. It is my seat, particularly in the event of turbulence or something like that. And not only that, I can't stand the cigarette smoke. I don't want anybody sitting here if they're smoking. I can understand that there's a lot of people who do not like cigarette smoke. And, I, and that, as I said, the option is up to you. However, the passenger was more upset in the way she was approached rather than the fact that she wasn't allowed to use your jump seat. Well, she was rude to me. She did ask me for your name, and she asked me for mine. You didn't give it to her, did you? It is our obligation if a passenger asks us for our name for us to give it to them. It would have been better if you would have given her your name. So now what do we do? Well, I'm going to document the incident, and I suggest that you do the same thing. I'm not assessing blame. I don't know what, it, what happened here, but I do suggest that you keep a copy of it for your records. Like what? Um... Write it on a fact report. Write down what happened from, from your point of view. Okay. And one, one other thing. I would like to suggest that if, the, if something like this ever occurs again, rather than getting involved in an argument with a passenger, please come and get one of the pursers. That's one of the reasons that we are here. Okay. I guess you're right. I probably should have come to get you. And I don't know, I get so annoyed at cigarette smoking anyhow, and maybe I just overreacted. And I could have I, I could have come to get you, it would have been easy enough. I'm sorry, yeah. So, do you think I should go talk to her? I think it's a good idea. Uh, but but when you do, please approach her very carefully. She's very upset about what, what happened, but I do think it's a good idea. Okay, give me a couple of minutes to... Okay. Take a couple deep breaths and I'll go apologize. Okay, and truthfully, I think we'll both feel better if the problem is resolved. Okay, yeah, you're right. Thanks, Linda. Mm -hmm. Sherry, Sherry, what are you doing? Uh, you know, if you need something, just ask me for it, and I'll be happy to get it for you. I just don't like people coming in here and rummaging through the gallery, yeah. opening compartments. Could you things. relax a little bit? What are relax. you so uptight about? I'm not you uptight. You've been ordering me around ever since I've gotten on this airplane. Uh, I haven't been ordering you around. It's just that you come into this gallery and you rummage through the compartments, and then I can't find anything. It's hard for me to keep organized. Look, I'm trying to do you a favor. I need to get the purser a tray of hors d'oeuvres, and... Fine. All you have to do is ask. Linda, this is not just your gallery. This gallery belongs to all of us. Uh, I didn't say it was just my galley, but it is my position. It's my responsibility to keep this service organized. Linda, I've been flying for 14 years, and I do not need you to start telling me what to do and what not to do. For somebody that's been flying for 14 years, you act like you've been flying for two weeks. Shouldn't you be out there doing wines or breads or something in the cabin? Linda, you may think that you do a good job in this galley, but if you were a little bit more organized, maybe we would see your face out in that cabin. I beg your pardon. I can run rings around you or anybody else in the cabin or the galley anytime. You know, I have just about enough of you. I am really sick of you ordering me around. You know, I'm sick of you and prima donnas like you that work this gallant position, and you think that What's you have a going monopoly on, on it. I don't have a monopoly on this position. Don't I never I said I do. A wait a minute. minute. Of her. Wait a minute. Let's try to keep our voices down. I don't know what the problem is, but let's talk about it later after the service is over. Right now, we should be working together as a team. There are passengers out here waiting for service they deserve, and they're not getting it. Sherry, there are several people who need wine. I'll carry on with your dirt. Linda, would you please check with me to keep my cart replenished and could you also offer some bread, please? Sure. Now, please keep your voices down and I, I know you're both upset. We'll discuss it later. Please don't let passengers know that you are upset when you're out in the cabin, okay? Okay. We'll talk about it later. Uh, are you yeah. ready? Okay, thanks. We couldn't help being delayed out of New York. It was a weather delay. And weather? After well, after the captain kept on announcing that it was a mechanical, I mean, can't one crew find out from the other crew what's going on? Well, I mean, here I am supposed to make this meeting, and you people can even get together? 
don't know, do you think um, this upper deck is ever going to make an appearance down here, or do you think we do this all by herself? Yes, Joe. This is mine. This is supposed to be a selfie note. She upstairs pulling the normal note. Joe, I'm just on my way to have a talk with her. Oh, good. Miss, did you ring? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, my name is Cynthia Stewart, and I'm a member of World Pass and Advantage. And when I booked this flight, the agent told me it was only going to be about half full. And something's happened. It's full now. I guess another airline canceled or something.